Uh, I need to move a few things. I am coming. Hey, bomb. So, bomb. I'm a. Hey, Darren. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> okay, bomb. Some people are going to try to come and ask you to moderate a beef between Celeste and I. I don't want you to do it. I'm just I'm just letting you know because Celeste is starting this shit all by herself. So I need her to be a big girl and take this shit all by herself. Because I haven't said anything about Celeste since that live stream. I assume that we squashed the beef. That's what I assume. But today, it seemed like she had a lot to say. So, okay, you want this, we going to have it. That's all it is to it. So, I know she's just trying to get her shine on, trying to get some numbers on her channel and all this other stuff. That's fine. She can do that. But at the same time you're gonna get this fucking work and you're gonna be called out for the fake liar that you are ready red you knew this was coming exactly and then she gonna lie and say that i came at her ready red when she was in that live stream by Reda cousin did you hear me or see me because i wasn't even on a panel i was in a chat did you see me say anything to Celeste? I didn't even say hi, Celeste. I didn't say anything. It was as if she wasn't even there. I ignored the fuck out of her. So tell me again where I came at you at. I didn't. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you can go around Celeste telling all the lies you want. But the proof is in the pudding, honey. And this is another thing, Celeste. Do you really think I care about you talking about my weight? No. See, this damn window, this light. Okay, yes, I have broad shoulders. Who cares? It don't bother me. Why is it bothering you? Yes, I'm not skinny it don't bother me why is it bothering you but since my appearance bother you so fucking much hey death beard since my appearance bother you so much we're gonna talk about your appearance okay that's what we're gonna do ego speed beautiful really a-bomb got your ass. <laughs> this is not about A-bomb. Yeah, but that's what that's what they say, bomb. I'm okay with them calling me fat. Believe me, I'm okay with them calling me fat. Because at the end of the day, if they ever was to see me, see like the whole me, my whole body me, they will fall the fuck out. So I'm okay with them calling me fat. That's why I don't get mad about it. And when they say, oh, you're fat, you're fat. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fat. I even said myself, if they're nowhere around and I'm doing something or eating something, I'm like my fat ass eating candy again. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with me at the end of the day. So I am fine. If I ever get to a point in my life where I'm like, I can't do it. If I get to a point in my life where I can't walk, or I just, it's hard for me to move around. Or, I don't know. I can't get outside and run with my kids. Or run up and down my stairs behind my kids. If you get to that point, then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have to do something. But if I can go up and down my stairs all goddamn day, don't break a sweat. Don't lose no breath. I am fine. Bitch, I'm going to tell you my goddamn test that told me I'm okay. If I can get through COVID, bitch, without getting sick, I am fine. <laughs> I am completely fucking healthy. 
at this point. So, fuck you, ho. <laughs> hey, Fashion. Hey, Steel. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> I'm out of breath just listening to the stream. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. Come on, girl. You you gotta get over yourself. Cause it don't bother me. Period. So I'm gonna tell you why I did this stream. It's not really to go in on you. But it's just to ask you a few questions because you know I like to ask questions, right? And make you think. That's what I like to make you think about the shit you're doing and saying. Because you like to talk about, hey Memphis man, you like to talk about my appearance, me being fat, or saying I look like Resfusia. So my question is, why, hey, Nazardi, why do you have to wear contacts, makeup, a wig, and put on fake nails? Hey, JP, why don't I have a wrench? Hey, I want you, okay. So that's, that's my question. Why do... You have to wear contacts to change the color of your eyes. And I'm going to get close so you can see the color of my eyes, okay? Um, why do you wear makeup? And I'm going to get close so you can see that I don't have on makeup. Why do you have to wear wigs? And I'll get close so you can see that I don't wear wigs. And why do you put on fake nails? Like, I don't have on fake nails. So, if you are completely, oh, I got a flag on it. I've been fighting. I had to say something again. I had to put in a, a counterclaim again because I'm not going to stop. Hey, Joe. So, I'm going to go over those things again. Okay? And I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. No nails. All mine. See? All my nails. Um, Mine. Uh... And I cut them down. Half of the time they break off when they get a certain length. And I'm washing dishes. Yes, bitch, by hand. Washing dishes. It is. Oh, my God. So, yes, I wash dishes by hand. And a lot of times when you do it too much and your nails get long, they start to break off. But I'm okay with that because they grow right back. Big deal. So, real nails. Um, What I see? Real hair. See, this is all mine. No weave, um, no tracks, no nothing. This is mine. And, and yeah, it can be a little messy sometimes, but at the end of the day, and it's thick as hell, I flat iron it because I'm all natural. You know, no perms, no relaxes, no none of that in my head. I'm all natural. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit. It's uneven and it's a little dry right now. You know, it's winter time, so it's hard to keep it moist. But at the end of the day, it's mine. No tracks. Um, what else did I say? Oh, makeup. Makeup. Let me show you. See this right here? I can even lick my hand and wipe my face. Uh, no makeup. So this is this is me. Okay. This is how I get up in the morning. All me. Okay. And your contacts you put in your eyes. Let me show you my eyes. <gasps> They're brown. See that? All brown. All me. All me. Yummy me, but all me. <laughs> what are you giving me money for? What's that? I thought you didn't have to pay for it. No, I said I found one that's permanent. Not a legal okay, just permanent. give me a minute. Use what you got for right now. Okay. And what else? What else about me that I can show you? You're mean. That I'm mean? Yeah, I'm mean. Yeah, you go around you humiliate people in public. I don't. I did not humiliate her. This is her. She called me fat. Oh, no, she I called me. People that you knew on the street and stuff. 
Oh, I ain't worried about them. Some of the people deserve it. But yeah, this is all me. Um <laughs> <laughs> you showing out now? Look, she she pushed me to this. That's that's what she did. She pushed me to this. Oh, I wanted to show my teeth because I know a lot of people talk about my teeth, but I try to tell people my teeth are not perfect. Hell, my skin ain't perfect. My hair isn't perfect. I mean, you see how uneven it is. And let me tell y'all something. I've had three strands of gray hair in my head for years, right? Three strands, because I don't I don't dye my hair. And the other day, one of them came out. Gum, oh, I almost died. Like, what am I gray? Like, I'm crying. Like, what am I gray hairs came out? Because I'm the type of person that whatever my body decides to do. If I was to grow gray hair all over my head at this point, I'm not going to dye it. It's going to be gray. And I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace my gray hair because that's just, that's life. 13 dislikes <laughs> who don't like Team Captain. Everybody, but that's that's dislikes from the TTC. That's what that dislike is from. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna deal with them later. But I wanted to deal with the person who wanted to interject herself into that and go over their line. This is getting out of hand. Reg, I thought we squashed it. Like I really, really thought we squashed it the other day on my live stream, but Celeste wanted to take it upon herself, thank you, Lolita, and go somewhere else and talk shit about me. Celeste called me fat. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this comes from the female who don't cam up during the day, for one, for two, spend hours in the bathroom getting made up to turn her camera on in the middle of the night for a bunch of fucking men. Like, are you kidding me, girl? I can turn my camera on in me. Oh, Lolo, Lolita is the Big Talk Bougie Walk podcast. That's Lolita. So I turn my camera on any time of the day. I mean, people have seen me on here getting my hair done, like really getting my hair braided. I've been on here with my hair all over my head. If you look at my watermark on my channel, on my videos, it's me with my hair all over my head. I've been on here with my hair tied up. Like, girl, do you really think what you say to me matters? For real. You calling me fat matters. Why? When you have to disguise your whole self to even turn your camera on. So what you can do, Celeste, is turn your camera on. Don't put on makeup. Because I'm going to lick my hands and wipe my face. Ain't no makeup on. Uh... Make sure you have your natural hair showing. No tracks, no weave, no none of that. You look like a what? Make sure you do that. Take your contacts out your eyes because at the end of the day, your eyes are brown, dog brown, not hazel. Oh, my teeth. I was on my teeth, y'all. My teeth ain't perfect. I can, I can. So I'm not going to let your little comment show because we're not going to do the racial slurs over here. You can say whatever you want, but the um, ER words is not going to happen. Um, Hey, Dallas. And my teeth ain't perfect, y'all. Like, I chipped my tooth. 
a long time ago, I was a little girl. I can't. It's one of these. It's chip. My teeth are uneven, but I take care of them. So they white. <laughs> I take care of what I can. Hi, dear. Hello, dear. What are you doing, dear? Stay messy. Who the victim is today? Celeste, of course. What happened? So we were on. So you know what happened. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning, y'all. So we were on JP live streams a couple of days ago. And they had awesomeness is a girl. Um, yeah, I, know awesomeness. I don't know of her being slow or anything like that. I don't know. She's over there in this TTC, and this whole channel is about talking shit. Right. Like we're constantly going at each other. Right. And there's another person on there saying, um, his name is Roberto. And I know Roberto. he has like very long arms. But once again, he's on there sticking his middle finger up at people. He's gesturing sex with his hands, all kinds of stuff. Right. So once again, this channel is about talking shit is a shit talking channel. Right. OK, so we are all. So, you know what? What they expect. You know what they expect. So if you go over there, expect people to talk shit about you and you to talk shit about others. That's on a panel. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So these two people are on the panel. Mind you, awesomeness started talking shit to someone else on yeah. there. Oh, yeah. She admitted this. Mm -hmm. She started talking shit about somebody else. So, of course, that person started talking shit back to her. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing. Shit is funny. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing. At this point, I didn't say anything about awesomeness. And then Roberto is singled out on the screen. And I'm already talking shit about Roberto because the last time we was on the live stream together, he's gesturing sex. He's sticking up his middle finger and shit like that. So I made the comment because his arms is really long. <laughs> I made the comment about Stretch Armstrong. Mm -hmm. And then other people started making different comments, mm -hmm. including you. Mm -hmm. I remember. So, and this was last night. No, that oh. was, Avon was last night. So this white guy named a bomb decided to go live and no the way don't hide anybody if they're not you let la you laughed you dumb ratchet atlanta bitch. for one i'm not atlanta. from atlanta for one i'm not from atlanta let me unhide that person y'all don't okay that's all right um still 58 so this is one thing that we don't do over here because I'm going to put the link in the chat. So anybody who wants to come up here and um, say something to me, you're welcome. What I don't do is hide people, time people out. I mean, I may delete your message if you're being racist, like saying the ER and stuff like that. I will delete the comment, but I wouldn't hide you or time you out from the stream. I let people say what they want. If they want to be free and, and talk, even though they're talking about me, that it don't bother me because at the end of the day, it's called self-esteem for a reason. And can't none of these people walk a mile in my shoes. In my very short life right about now, can't nobody walk a mile in my shoes. Scars and all, they can't do it. So what they say, don't bother me. At the end of the day, they fucking words. So. I just don't like people lying on us. I mean, lying, I'm okay. Because especially those kind of lies, they're, they're easy to debunk. Like, it's just, it's too easy. With the lies they tell. And at the end of the day, when you tell those kind of lies and that person come out with the proof and the receipts, who looks like the liar? At that point, 
no one is going to trust you. So while you worrying about if I still trust you or not at this point, you know I don't. And no one else will either because this is the second time you know went and threw a fucking rock and hid your hand. But knowing me, I always got it on camera. I'm doing better than the police because I catch everything on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so last night on a bomb they were talking about oh jp you're wrong because y'all talking about these disabled people and danini was on there talking about disabled people and aries was on there talking about disabled people and it's like it's a shit talking stream these are people that been on that stream for months now and now the white man a bomb want to have a problem with us roasting these people even though they roast too that to me that don't make sense they're not children these are grown adults on a shit talking stream to roast so i think they're pretty aware of what's going on and i don't give a damn who you are, if you bold enough to try to roast me, I'm going to roast your ass back. And that's just the bottom line. You don't get a pass because you fucking throw it off. If you that throw it off, don't bring your ass up here. You are well aware of what's going on. And to be honest with you, I don't think anything is wrong with these two people mentally. It's physical shit. So just because somebody is in a wheelchair, that means they get to disrespect me and tell me what the fuck they want to tell me because they're in a wheelchair? Oh, oh, oh. Messy alert, messy alert. I forgot to tell you what else this bitch said. Oh, she said that she took class, she, she, she was like in a certain part of the school Who? because she had to rap. Who, Angela? Yeah, that bitch admitted that she was a special ed in um grammar school, <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Oh my god! Oh, bitch is the way of it. <laughs> <laughs> the truth come out on all this shit. Okay, so like I said, I'm not gonna allow. I don't want to be treated special. They can handle it, right? So this is my thing. I'm not going to let somebody, just because they in a wheelchair, disrespect me and talk to me any kind of way. I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nothing wrong with your fucking brain. You well aware of where you are and what's going on. So if you can fucking dish it, you should be able to take it. You don't get a pass on that at all. So, no, I don't agree with them. And then they go as far as threatening JP to get him to fucking apologize. Mind you, is a fat, funky, I'm about to pull up his picture. A fat, funky ass man. Like, are you kidding me right about now? And I'm going to pull up a clip. I think that would be better. Is this the live stream from last night? But I don't know the minute mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up because I, I screen recorded what he said when he called Aries. I ain't turning down nothing. I turn nothing into something, little baby. I'm a dead mm -hmm. You came what? up here to show your ass. Now, you, will, you can stay there. So I'm going to pull up. I got to send it from my phone, though, because I screen recorded it on my phone. Uh, uh, so let me send it to my email so I can pull it up where he called Aries. Um, what did he call him? Some kind of monkey. A ghetto monkey. This is a white man. Hey, Angel Ray. This is a white man calling a black man. 
And mind you, there's other black men on the stream, call them a ghetto monkey. And these other black men on the stream didn't say a fucking word, nothing. But I'm not going to show the little clip. I'm going to do the big clip so it can be in context what was said. I email to myself. I don't want to text it to myself. Uh, nope, I'm not going to put a subject. So y'all can see. Yeah, he is fucking racist. So yeah, I'm going to put that up too. And this is the person that um, Celeste is, is caping for at this point. What? Hell yeah, that's what they got a result to the racist names because they figure they can't beat you no other way. And then yeah, she fucked up. Why I gotta download it? So let me share this really quick. Share. And uh, play if I can get to it to play it. Just yeah, hey, the link, JP. Here's the funny thing about Davey is I believe that you darn bitch right. that rolls up, bitch. You're fat fuck. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing, homie. I know, bitch. Go ahead and roll up on somebody's house. Get the fuck out of my stream. You don't come in here threatening me, motherfucker. Get the fuck out. Damn. You're the funny hey, thing about Davey. Threaten me, you knock on my door. Lord, bitch. Never mind. I don't. I don't play oh, yeah. those games, dude. You get out of here, okay. ghetto monkey. I don't need you. I'm. I'm happy. So. That's playing it in context. And a person who said it was the, the one with the red at the top because it was his stream. So get out of here, ghetto monkey. And mind you, like I said, there's other black men on the stream. They didn't, didn't say a word about it. But now I got to go to Raider Cousin live stream because while A-Bomb, the one who called Aries a ghetto monkey, while, look, y'all just broke my nail. <laughs> Can I get the nail clipper, please? So he's talking about protecting these so-called people. Who cares about awesomeness? It's not about that. It's just that she's on that live stream too, roasting people. So if you roast, you deserve to get roast. But today on Raider Cousins live stream, yes, he called <laughs> our Aries a ghetto monkey. So let me go to Raider Cousins live stream and i want to play the chat i hope the chat is up because i want you to see what i was saying in there during this time damn the chat isn't up so i guess i gotta wait to excuse me process before i can see the chat hey third Atlanta, whole oh shit. For one, I'm not in Atlanta or from Atlanta. Never been to Atlanta. Okay? 
So you keep calling me Atlanta ho, Atlanta bitch, Atlanta whatever. That ain't me. Um, let's see. Did I record any of it? No, I just um took screenshots of the chat. Damn it. Oh wait, or oh, did I? I think this is the one where Celeste was talking shit. All right, this is it. So I'm gonna play Celeste's part in this. Now, mind you, Celeste wasn't around for the JP live stream, so she don't know what happened there. She wasn't around for damn, it's too long. She wasn't there for um that's the thing you had to pay attention. She wasn't there for the A bomb live stream last night, but she jumped in today trying to talk shit about me and don't know what happened. To what people but then she sit up there and say that she don't have to do her research on me. She gonna just do whatever. <laughs> really? You you really think I'm gonna let you in like that? Come on, man. You you gotta be smarter than that. Can't no one see you. <laughs> they some idiots, y'all. They really are, and now he's gone. Of course, you are a fucking idiot. Y'all trolling? Why? Oh my God! Now let me go ahead and put this up. Educated ass, really? But um, like I was saying, Celeste is the one going around starting shit lying. Let me, this girl said I called Jessica X over here <laughs> the other day to come on a live stream to talk about her. Nah, people just fuck with us like like that. girl for real. <laughs> For one, you need to be trying to beat game. How can I call Jessica X to do anything? Jessica X don't even want to show her face. So how can I call her to do anything? If I would have called her, I would have called her. I've been told y'all about that bitch. I know you did. I know you did, Kevin, but I'm I'm seeing it. I've been seeing it, but I just assumed that she was a little girl. And that she just needed some guidance. But now I see that she doing this shit on purpose. She's a dumb whore. That's what she is. That's that's what she is. And I've been, man, Joe, I've been trying to spare her. Like I really have. I've been trying to spare her. But it's like. I can't. Like, I can't. Anytime you have to go somewhere and lie on me, out of all people, the person, if I do something, if I am messy, if I'm talking about you, I have never backed down from saying, yes, I said this about this bitch. I said this about that bitch. I did this. I did that. That's one thing you would never find me do. If I talk shit about you, I will be the first one to say, I said it and what? So for her to go around saying, yeah, Danini said this about me and I'm sitting up there like, when did I say all this? When did I do all this? Please tell me. And then going to tell people, oh, Danini made a bunch of videos about me. Where, bitch? 
What the heck? You're not important enough for me to make a bunch of videos about you. Not at all. I made this to try to explain to people why you're calling me fat. Why you wear the things you wear. The makeup. The fake hair. The fake nails. The contacts in your eyes. And as far as we know, you probably wear the little butt pads too. I mean, you'll do anything to get attention from a man. Anything besides being yourself. Why is that so hard for you to be yourself, Celeste? You know, went from this ML, what is it, MLM community, you got kicked out of there, to the divested community, you got kicked out of there. <laughs> No, not the pads. Yeah, she probably wear butt pads. You got kicked out of the divestment community. You got kicked out of the white manosphere. Now you're trying to penetrate the black manosphere. And now you're going to the TTC. Girl, how the fuck you move from up to down? That don't work like that. You're supposed to move up the totem pole, not fall your ass down. Here's another troll, y'all. Hold up. This don't make no sense, y'all. We're gonna keep doing it. This is what trolls do. At least they know how to fucking troll. So let's just go around telling lies. How is that trolling? Telling lies is not trolling. This is Frank the what? So hold up. <laughs> you end my live stream and you change your name while you're still here? You don't make sense. <laughs> Trolls need to be funny, right? They should be funny, but this one isn't. Oh, Lordy. She making Texas look bad, yo. I mean, there's a lot of people in Texas that make it look bad. I mean, look at Big G. He makes Texas look bad. Like, they have no sense, if you ask me. So... I'm going to go down this road with Celeste because you say you're married. You say you have four kids and you're working on the fifth child. When? Because you're online all night unless you're working on the fifth child with the men over there by ism. That's, that's what it sounds like. Damn, it's not Texas, bro. <laughs> But you got to think about a lot of the enemies that I have is from fucking Texas. I ain't going to say have, had. Because Penny Proud was in Texas. Oh, I didn't make that connection till just now. Penny Proud used to be in Texas. I wonder if she knows Celeste personally. Just from what was said. So I wonder if Penny Proud and Celeste actually did hook up because Penny Proud said in Celeste chat that she missed her cooch. Hmm. Let me see. Let me get exactly what she said. Uh, let me go pull that up and share my screen because I don't want her to say I'm 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 telling lies on her. 
Yeah, so hey, hon, I miss your warm snatch next to mine. Y'all see that right there? That's what Penny Proud said to Celeste. And Penny Proud was in Texas. Y'all see that? Penny Proud was lived in Texas. So I wonder if there's some truth to that. Hmm. I think Penny lies. Yeah, Penny do lie. But the place where this is, because Celeste, she had no videos. She probably had videos, but she took them down. So there was nowhere for people to comment. This is on her discussion. If you go to the, the channel, it's on discussion. And that's where this is. So why would Penny, this was six months ago. Why would Penny put this on Celeste's page if there was no beef? Because just a few weeks ago, she was over at Penny's live stream on the channel, on the panel, talking to Penny. And got upset with Penny because some other girl came up there and told Celeste off. But this comment right here, especially putting together that they both lived in Texas together, makes me think they were lovers. Hmm. Now, that's something I would really want to ask Penny. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, you keep fucking with me and I'm just going to keep digging. The more I think about that and do these live streams on you, the more I'm going to put it together. Okay, idiot, I'm not letting you up here for a reason and you're still going to just sit there, right? That's what you're going to do. Look at this idiot, y'all. He changed his name. He keeps saying I'm from Atlanta and I'm not. Just like they had a dude, um, they had a dude on A Bomb last night call itself the minister, trying to say he's from New Orleans, but ask me where I'm from. And I'm like, I'm from the West Bank. And I'm like, he said, where on the West Bank? You don't even know all that. Just know I'm on the West Bank. This nigga said, you got to cross the twin spans to come to the city. Nigga, you not from New Orleans to think that? Whoa, what's up? Okay, I had to make sure that was you. Ain't no ass gonna be shown because <laughs> oh, they come with your shiny ass. I just wanted to meet some trolls. What? I said, to meet some trolls. I mean, what are they coming? They popping up. Hell yeah, they popping up. I also up. wanted to find out why Celeste blocked me, and I don't even know how you block somebody and make comments about them. <laughs> that's not fair it's not fair that's what they do that's, also, that's what they do when they're afraid it's 2pm where's your ch children <laughs> that's the question I had she's up all night so she's not spending time with her husband in the middle of the night because she's on YouTube with a bunch of other men so Ain't no baby being made during that time. And then during the day, I guess whenever she wakes up, it's... she's not spending time with her children. She's not spending time with her man. She's back on YouTube. So where's mm. her family? Well, I don't know. Maybe in make believe land. I don't Maybe know. Maybe so. Maybe so. Because I, I know. Mean, I'm Carl Winslow. That's how I mean, I just found out I look like Carl Winslow. And I'm Urkel. She called me Urkel now. <laughs> look, this is my, my thing. For a girl to say she have four children. Four children. And to still be in her 20s, yo, 
Not one of those kids should be self-sufficient at all. They can't cook for themselves. They probably could bathe themselves a little bit, but you being a parent of four, you probably need to watch what the hell they doing. You probably need to smell under some arms, you know, come here, let me smell and see if you use the soap or not. They got to be fed. You got to clean up after them. When the fuck are you doing this, girl? When are you taking care of your family? Ain't no leave her alone because she didn't leave me alone. When I got quiet on her, she wanted to run them out. So fuck her. I'm going to run mine. Pause. Fuck said that. Leave her alone. No, nah, Don. She came out there and started some shit. Don Burrito. Again. <laughs> Don. She opened up her mouth today and I caught her. Don. That hole at 2 p.m. was doing the same thing to his father doing that 2 a.m. Being on. What the fuck, them kids? You're breaking up. Mm -mm. What kids? They ain't got no children. I'm breaking up now. No, it's better. Mm. Where's, where's her black husband at? Even though she's brought her, she's been divested since high school, right? Exactly. That's something that she said on uh and Karazin. Yeah, let me go to my video and pull that up because I forgot what and it's probably not in my history now. I ain't about to look for it. But let it me makes get sense her though because <laughs> Don Burrito said, let him get our number. <laughs> I mean, she Don. already said that she's comfortable giving it out. Exactly. That's what I was about to tell him. You don't have to get it from Aries. Not say, if you it's easy work. If you want her number, you have to show a little interest in her. Like, laugh That's... at her little corny ass jokes. Yeah. Um, conversate with her in the live stream. And then give her your email address. When she, when you get the email address, you email and ask her for her number. Say, I don't want to talk to you through email. Give me a number and let me call you. She'll get to you. She easy. Tell her you're dying. Nene, what's that? She's saying you plotting on her. Yeah, she said I was plotting on her. What the fuck I'm going to plot on Celeste for? She's easy with bad pussy. Oh. Huh? She must have bad pussy if she caught her boyfriend fucking another chick in their bedroom. Where you heard that at? Oh, from out her mouth on mm. Grandmaster Troll. <gasps> what? Yeah. I don't bring that up much. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. She caught her man a fucking another woman in her bedroom? Yeah, because she told Grandmaster Troll that, you know, she fucked up, fucked, fucked up the guy's car. But because, you know, Grandmaster Troll's ex, Sabasud, broke up his car. So she, she was trying to come to Sabasud's defense. By saying, hey, I can understand the passion, the rage. Because I caught my boyfriend at the time fucking another chick in our bed. And you know, I did something to his car. I was like, wait, what? Damn. This feminine ass woman with four kids. If it's four kids, it gotta be some good shit, right? But if it's that good, why the fuck you got boyfriend fucking another chick in your bed. I don't get it. Right. I don't get it either. I'm lost. Damn. Damn, bro. But it's okay. Damn. But <laughs> let me show this. Share the screen. 
that Miss Lady like to say that she is uh, married to a black man, but here she is on Crystal and Karazin. Damn, where is it? Oh, the. Let me pause this. On oh, Crystal and Karazin saying she's been divested since high school. I can't move it over. Can y'all see that? I know it's small. Small? She likes things that are small. She does. I can't move it over, so I gotta make it. But anyway, and my face in the way. But nevertheless, is there? She's saying that Pause. she's. Been... What does divested technically mean? I mean, by my understanding, it's um not dealing with black men anymore so that's similar to her posing up to a white fat racist nazi yeah but at oh, the same okay. time she's saying that over on crystalline karazin's live stream the gotcha. pink lady the lady who talks down on black men and talks up white men uh, so she probably married to a proud boy. She's probably married to a proud boy. She's probably her boyfriend or husband probably was in DC. That's the reason why she likes Avon because Avon is similar to her supposed boyfriend. Gotcha. Okay. But Just you know, sure. I kinda, I you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this girl. But I know from the time she came on, yeah, I've been keeping my eye on her. And I was right to do so. Hey, Warren said be careful. Warren, uh, Warren said uh, be careful, Uppity. Okay. I thought she I mean, was in the chat, but yeah. I mean, she was earlier. <laughs> Kevin says, PlayStation, your PlayStation, gotcha. man. Come on, man. A PlayStation. The fucking PlayStation. <laughs> so let me go to Raider Cousin. I gotta go to my history to find that video. History. I'm a little slow, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Me and my slow brain. What is this? The morning smoke. And I'm going to try to find him talking to. I didn't know that. Huh? I didn't you know comprehend. Had an A in it. <laughs> when he was trying to spell comprehend, a bomb. Yeah, but he has—he's a journalist major. Yeah. Is this where he was? I could talking? not spell the word comprehend. Yeah. And that's the guy. I guess the best likes. I can't believe that they threatened JP. That's what I don't believe. Look this man. This woman found out I'm Empire and I'm mm. rocking the Niners. See, I don't think this is the part. She was dropping bombs, dude. I don't think this is the part. But as y'all can see, oh no, y'all can't see. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me share my screen. I am so sorry.
This is fair use, right? Yeah, I can put a banner up. I don't think Rita Cousin is part of that bullshit that they're trying to do. Yeah, but this is fair use. Okay, so this is fair use, people. And as you can see, Celeste is on the panel and talking in the chat. Talking shit. But I want to play. I want to play where. Follows with me, so I can like awesomeness, girl. That's the thing. You have to pay attention to what people do and how they treat other people. Okay, because I, I, all I see is you supporting Danini. I see you on almost all of her streams. Every time she go live, I see you on her channel. So for her to do that to you, like, mm mm. That's why she's so active in right now. That's why I'm going to So with that being said, my question is, what did I do to awesomeness? She don't know. But she's there with these men talking shit. Right? Right. Because then I'm going to pull up awesomeness channel. Let it run. Where she apologize to me because awesomeness didn't hear me say anything about her so celeste once again you opening your fucking mouth the same thing i was telling you before you open your mouth and talk and don't know what the fuck you're talking about and here you have done it again i know that needs to burn you need to burn, need to burn that no, but if you need okay, it, I'm it. So I'm trying to get to the spot where I am the white man is talking and I'm in the chat saying this is how the white man can completely control because they like the finesse the weak. And that's just what he did on here. And he used awesomeness as the weak to finesse her. And look, y'all, I'm not in a chat anymore. And Celeste is still running her fucking mouth. Look, still running her mouth. I'm not in the chat no more. So what are you saying, girl? Yeah, that's funny because I never did get a see, chance to see that. Oh, I, I forgot she blocked me, even though she decided to make a comment. I don't know. I never did see any of this. Oh, for real? No, I didn't get to see that. Oh, because Celeste blocked me. Yeah, I was in and out the chat, y'all. So when I get to that that point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all know because I was in and out. Because, you know, um, Celeste, I can't sit on YouTube all day like you. And I'm not going to. Like, there is money to be made out here. And you sitting on damn YouTube day and night with a husband and four kids in your 20s. Girl, bye. I be a damn fool to believe that shit at this point. Damn, why I can't find this? Who is that? Huh? Oh, I know it's that. I know it's there too. I'm just looking for it's right what he there. said. Oh, there she goes. He said Eric 504 look like dark skin Uncle Phil. <laughs> you dark skin? No, not dark skin. <laughs> Bro. Obviously, she must like big men then because she gave me her phone number. And now she's horny enough to. A fat white man. Right. So 
It's okay. Eric, even, she said you can't even tie your own shoes, so he wears <laughs> Velcro all the time. Oh, it would have been a better joke if the bitch said Velcro. Stupid. Oh, hi, awesomeness. Oh, don't and bring your ass over here. No, let her let her come over here because for somebody to to. Oh, I'm I'm gonna keep quiet because mm, she wasn't because right. I I have questions though. So, awesomeness, feel free to click the link if you would like. But I do have questions. I I really do. Because my thing is, if you felt any type of way about what was going on that night, I think you could have said something. That's for one. And to say that I was talking shit about you, I know I wasn't. Hey, awesomeness. Hey. And now who is this? Probably some kind of what troll? <gasps> troll. Exactly. The troll yeah, the troll is in here too, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all see that the troll is here, right here. But you're not gonna be up here for long, troll. Okay, awesomeness. So, do you know what type of live streams that JP hold? Uh, not really. I kind of like at first I thought it was just a regular live stream. That's why I thought I was just talking about football and stuff. I don't know, just you know, TCC and drama like that. I thought it was just just a regular stream talking about football. So every time you go up there, because that wasn't your first time up there. Yeah. Do everybody talk shit? Huh? Do everybody talk shit when you go up there? No, it's just going on. Usually it would be just 412, and I think that would be it. Yeah, because usually I thought I thought you guys were laughing at me. I thought it was me or Roberto that you guys were laughing at, and so I kind of didn't understand that. So that's why I had to go back and watch it. I kept thinking, I was like, did she laugh at me or something? I don't know. That's how I didn't understand it like that. So, so yeah. you're saying that you didn't understand? Yeah. Like, I don't understand. So sometimes I would not understand, like, whether or not, like, you guys were laughing at me or Roberto. So I thought from there, I thought it was just people were saying that, yeah, they were laughing at you. So I kind of, it was just kind of confused back and forth because I was thinking either you guys were not laughing at me, maybe because you guys were just having fun. That's what I thought. You know, that's what I would think because, you know, whenever people are laughing and dancing, they're having fun. But, so Roberto was was dancing and stuff too, right or wrong? Yeah. So are we not supposed to laugh at, at that? Uh, I thought at first, no, never like that. I thought you were just making fun of him for like that type of thing. That's what I thought. If a person is dancing, just like when you get your dinosaurs and you show your dinosaurs on the screen and you're playing with your dinosaur, am I not supposed to laugh? Mm, yeah. You're right. So I, I don't get what was going on. Like I at this point, I'm confused because they made it seem like we picking on the disabled when awesomeness. I, I can't let you say you don't know that they talk shit over there because you talk shit. So I'm not gonna look at you as okay, I'm gonna let her talk shit to me, but I'm not gonna say anything. You can't do that. Okay. Like you can't be the person. Say let's let's do it this way. If somebody hit you, would you hit them back? Uh, no, not really. Why? Okay. Because I mean, because I'm a nice person, so I don't know like um a hitting that mechanism like that. So I don't know how to um fight. So. Okay, so you don't fight physically. Fine. Mm -mm. 
if somebody say something nasty to you, will you say something nasty back? Yeah. And no. does that make you does that make you the victim? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Awesomeness. Did you make a comment to Real Shit Four Twelve first? For four one twelve? Yeah, the four twelve. Did you talk about him? Mm, yeah. I, I okay. did talk about it. I and you like... talked did you talk about him first? Yeah, uh, yeah, I know one time I talked about him first. Okay. So if you talked about him, he began talking about you extra hard, correct? Yes. Did I not defend you? Yeah, you did defend me. Okay. So my question to you, Awesomeness, is why did you allow people to say that I was attacking you when I really actually was doing the opposite? I guess I didn't know what to say at that point because everybody was talking. So Everybody was talking awesomeness and they was talking. They were coming to your defense. But the thing is, awesomeness, they were coming to your defense over something that did not happen. Nobody mm -hmm. was attacking you. 412 was the only person trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah. And that was wrong on your part because you should have stuck up for us like I stuck up for you. You're right. Sorry, Aries. The Sorry. apology, well, unlike Danini, the apology that you're giving me, I feel is not even valid right now because you need to address that with the people who made all of this happen. All of those little idiots over there that you decided to go over there by. Avon, Cowboy Legend, all of those guys, because you came up on a fair panel. You felt comfortable. This is not well, real, cousin. So what do you want, idiot? <laughs> so? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to um, Cowboy Legend and... um. Uh, Avon, hey, yeah, you don't have to talk to them on my behalf. Please don't talk to them on my behalf because I, I, I won't. I, I'll just talk about you know, Aries. I'll talk to them about how he did yeah. defend me and stuff. So. Oh, okay, Take don't worry. Shit, though. I mean, just let it be known because I'm not going back over that, but I will be dealing with a couple of them. Yeah. Sorry about what happened. I mean, I kind of watched a bomb stream. I didn't go there. I didn't see it live, but I kind of like saw him um talking trash about you guys. So I kind of I really felt bad. I was like, yeah, maybe that shouldn't be like that. So Sorry. who told them what went on by JP that night? I don't know. Like it just happened, and so I watched it. So I don't know. So did any of them reach out to you to ask you what happened? Uh, who was it? Mm, I think it was Duke Ballers, I think. Probably. I don't know. He didn't know because he probably was on JP streams and 4-4 The Legend and Lady Steel. Yeah. Lady of Steel. Okay. I mean, that's hmm. all I know. Basically, it's just that they, they're kind of helping us out. Stuff okay. like that. Telling JP not to put us full screen for like five minutes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So you do Go understand ahead. that that they threatened JP for him to even come on Raider Cousin today, right? Mm, did I, miss it? I think they, I did. They yeah, I, I didn't see that though. No, huh? I know this. They threatened his livelihood for him to come on there and even to apologize for you, even though if he felt like he didn't do anything wrong, they made him apologize. 
Yeah, I gotta talk to them. Uh, you don't have, I'm just, I'm no, just, no, 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 no. That's something you that don't you don't have, have to, to talk to. Right. You don't have to talk to them about that. I'm just letting you know that they basically used you. They see you as the weaker link and use you to get at him. Yeah, I understand. And that's the part I'm about to play now with a bomb and how he started talking and how you sitting up there on that live stream, not noticing that he's talking about you as if you are a child, five-year-old yeah, child. He, five -year -old. Made show he said the age. So he see you as equal to a five-year-old child and not a grown ass woman. Okay. So watch yourself. Even with them. Okay, I will. Oh, stay up, stay, stay on there, because I need you to hear this. She don't have to stay on to hear it. She can go in the chat because I don't want them to see. Oh, we was um, coercing her, like yes. we were trying to do her. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, just like what they was doing her. So, awesomeness, if you want to go, you can. You, I'm just, it's gonna stay up. I'm not taking it down. All right. Goodness. So I find myself in an Angel Ramirez. No, his name. What's his name? Angel, Angel what? I think it was Ramirez. Mm. Set. Mindset right now. What's up, Rex? Rex. I told you to come on through, boss. Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, I had to go and notify Rex of the trolls that were coming through. <laughs> and I said, if you're going to talk about trolling, I'm going to get someone that you know who is a professional at my that show. <laughs> Rex is my troll, man. Rex, I wanted to talk to you anyway, but this ain't the stream for it. You know I uh, want to talk You know I do. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so this is a bomb talking about awesomeness while awesomeness is on the, the panel and listen to what he used. And this is why I said this is how white people finesse the weak so they can use them and conquer them. This is what they do. And y'all, I swear, I never heard this with my own ears. I heard about it. I never heard it with my own ears until today. Strength. I get to relive that. Rewind it a little bit. This shit's been happening. You know what I mean? His ass. And that's a fact. His apology is fraud. And he thinks it's funny. So like after said, he after he talks, so I gotta let it play a little bit you know, from him. Video, so nice but you're gonna pay attention to the one that's in the middle. Oh, you can't even see it. And y'all think everything's a game. So let me share my screen, yo. Okay. Okay, now pay attention to the one that's in the middle. Him right here with the glasses in the middle. I swear to God, you could have ran with me or Billy Badass in the 209, man. You could have. <laughs> oh, well, he's not in the middle anymore. He's right here. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, get rid of that troll. Now, now, Billy Badass, uh, he and I, we're the 209ers. You know what I mean? We're kind of a sub fact in the 9 Empire. Now, you you could have ran, well, Cousin could have ran with us, too. I know a lot of guys like grew up with a lot of guys like Raider Cousin, but end of the day, JD wouldn't have apologized unless we were busting his ass. And that's a fact. Threatening his job. His apology is fraud. If JP could have just promoted it and got run out of it, he would have. And that's a fact. The first TTC live stream, Awesomeness or Roberto, ever came in was mine. My live stream. Yeah, I was there. And I'm not exactly known for being a kind little gentle butterfly. 
in my live stream. <laughs> but you know what? Awesomeness and Roberto both, they always have a safe place to run. And Hold up. Hey, Ricks. Let me give you a wrench, Ricks. All right. So that's the first thing he said, that these people, Roberto and Awesomeness, always have a safe place to go, his live stream. What does that sound like? The government telling the black mothers, you always have a safe place? Long as you don't have your man living in your house, I'm going to pay your rent for you through Section 8. Do this sound familiar to y'all? Listen, you got to read between the fucking lines. And he's saying it's so calm and so collected and so loving to where you want to believe him. Pay attention. My live stream. If I don't think it's going to be safe that night, are you listening, Jamal? If I don't think Awesomeness or Roberto or Dashy or, uh, or uh, Jordan Dog can be in my stream, Without getting shit, I won't let them in. I'll tell them not tonight. But I'll let them in another night. See, trying to make a feel safe. You can come over there, and if the bad guys come over, I'll tell them, no, you can't come here. Not tonight, because awesomeness is here with me. You can't come in. Sound familiar, people? There are certain people that are put on this earth to remind us that we are human and that we have souls. Some people want to say they're this. Some people want to say they're less. They're not. They are here for a reason. They are here for us. They are here. Do y'all hear that? Some people, women, are put on this planet for a reason to bear children, right? Y'all, all you gotta do is change the words and you will get what's going on. This He can be a politician for real. Like some people are put on this world, on this earth for a reason. Here, so we see greater qualities in ourselves in them. See, we see greater qualities in ourselves, in them. How? This is about. We are sports fans. And the purest fan in here on this panel. And you got guys with tattoos. So, the purest guys are in here on this panel. He's not talking about the rest of the guys that's on the panel, mind you. He's talking about himself. Okay, this is Donald Trump's nephew because he got fired up last night when I told him his president was getting impeached. But this is his nephew, okay? And he is the purest one on that panel. Listen to him. Exact. Listen to what he's saying. Okay. Pay close attention. Guys with banners, guys that fist fight over this. <laughs> but every one of us knows that the purest fan of fans, loyal to her soil, just because she's there, is awesome to support. And Roberto, he's right there with her. So now he's saying that she is pure to the sport. It's in her soul. He is lifting her up, yo. Like he want to put her on this high ass pedestal to feel good about herself and listen to how he drop it down. And so is Dashie. So is, so, is, so is Jordan Dog to a degree. But there is something about awesomeness that, that's fucking awesome. There's something about her that is greatness. And it is something that she shares with me, with LL, with Billy Badass, with everyone else that's an absolute fanatic 
about a bunch of guys playing games that we'll never meet. And see, y'all, and listening to him saying this, that they're never going to meet. Mind you, last night, he said he was the only person that went to somebody's house. He pulled up on somebody. A-bomb, the one that's talking, pulled up on somebody. He's saying that these people that fist fight and they're not doing it. They're planning a boxing match in September with the guys who don't like each other. That sound like a fist fight to me. But since they want to call it a boxing match, it's not bad because boxing in a sport is a sport, right? Yeah. It's just the way they use their words. She understands. She has the pure understanding of it. She has the pure understanding of it. Man, listen to the choice of words he used. This is the same person. They call Aries a ghetto monkey. Listen to his words and what he used. He's going to use that word pure way too many fucking times. Because unlike the rest of us assholes, she gets to look at it through a child's eyes. <gasps> she gets to look at it through a child's eyes. Awesomeness is not a child. She's not a teenager. She is a grown ass woman. And that's what I mean by he'll put her on that pedestal and then knock her ass down. Same way the government did the fucking black woman with this section eight. I'm going to put you on this pedestal. I'm going to tell you that you're going to have your own place. You're going to be able to raise your kids. But then I'm going to knock you back down and tell you, you're going to do what I say do for you to stay there. That's the type of shit they do. You have to fucking watch them. Listen to their words, understand their words, comprehend their fucking words. And don't let them just shit on you. Because at the end of the day, that's what they're doing. They can talk to you in the nicest way, in the nicest fucking tone, and be insulting you at the same fucking time. And you know what you do? You smile and you nod. That's the type of shit I don't like. That's the type of people I can't stand. And so can Roberto. And when somebody like that is watching your stream and enjoying what you do, you need to be thankful. And, when and you need to be thankful that white daddy is giving you a place to live. You need to be thankful. Really? Is he really talking about awesomeness and being on YouTube at this point because I'm going to tell you as I was listening to this YouTube went out the window on me yes be thankful YouTube went out the window on this one for me who he was actually talking about went out the fucking window hey bomb can you hear me yes ma'am oh hey how you doing all right Okay, so I'm trying to follow along to what took place, but so I see your point, right? But mm -hmm. I have I have cousins. I think when you came to the uh, funeral, you may have seen that I, at least one of my cousins, or I don't know what you, you how, how you term them today, right? Mm -hmm. They um, what what how how would we um, uh, what you call them today? What the white people? No, 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 no. Um, when they special, like when um, I don't know what to call them, Bob. To be honest, okay. I, I really, I really don't. And really, I didn't see it in awesomeness until she came up here, and we just had that conversation. That's why I kind of stopped. Oh, okay. So the guy who's talking, right? He's mm -hmm. referring to awesome. Um, and he, what he's basically saying is, you, you know, he want to protect protect her. There are people who don't wouldn't care that it might be a little that the person might be a little different. And like you're mm -hmm. saying, they shouldn't treat her like a child. But in a sense, sometimes you have to protect them because there are people who will who will try to destroy. So I have some cousins, and all of them in one family, 
my aunt had three children back to back with disabilities. I guess we would say disabilities. They're mm-hmm. all older than I am, right? Um, mm-hmm. And they can take care of themselves to a degree. They can get dressed, you know. And I understand where they come on the internet. They want to be a part of everybody. They want to be a part of the group. But they, they do need to have somebody who, who's going to protect them to a degree because, yeah, because people will make fun of them. People will try to destroy them. And, you know, if you can make a, a, a regular adult commit suicide, you could definitely end up hurting someone who think more like a, a, a kid. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm hearing from him. And, but but mind you, I didn't go over there. Besides him calling every what he called him, I'm going to go over there and fuck him up later. But <laughs> as far as what he's saying about Austin, it sounds like he's saying, hey, you know, Austin, you have the right to be over here. And if I see that it's getting a little too heated for you, you know, I'm going to make sure I protect you, whether to tell you to get off or tell others to get off. You don't, you don't, that's not what you see? I hear. Okay, I can understand him saying that. But I'm looking at his choice of words. And I know what kind of bigot this man is. See, all this... I probably should have played him in Aries fight like months ago. The man is a fucking racist. And the way he's talking to her, for me, I don't think he should have been the one to tell her this. Period. At all. Especially with the choice of words he's using. I'm I'm not I'm not buying it because the way he said it in the words he used, it took me away from awesomeness and it took me away from YouTube. It took me to my own community. But check this out though. Nobody was talking about their mental disabilities. No, they wasn't. Somebody made a joke about your boy dancing and her looks. So what the fuck are they even talking about? They bringing this shit out. I mean, yeah, they are, because I wouldn't have known that about awesomeness. Like, I didn't know the extent of it. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm just slow and I didn't see something. Right, right, right. But I didn't know the extent of it until I just talked to her one-on-one. Because, you know, on JP live stream, mm-hmm. it's kind of chaotic. So you can't mm-hmm. really talk to people one-on-one. You see, the point is nobody pointed that out. Nobody pointed no. that out. Nobody said <laughs> nothing about it. So- Warren. This is my first time ever even hearing about any kind of disabilities on her part. My first time ever. Right, right. From anybody. People can tell or can possibly detect, but nobody said anything Mm -mm. about that shit. So your boy, the the white boy, Abon, he's showing his true colors, calling people ghetto monkeys and the speech he just was making. So I'm glad that they stupid trying to put some shit on us when that wasn't even what the situation was Mm -mm. in the first place. Celeste, you dumb bitch. But that's why I'm going to let him finish playing too because he's not done talking. Not by long shot. It gets worse. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit more. When they want it, they like you so much. They want to click on that link and they want to talk to you. And be a part of what you do. You don't wipe your ass with them. You treat them with respect and honor, and you appreciate that they're there. Jamal, you violated sacred trust, my friend. Because I tell you what, I never want awesomeness to look at anything except the way she looks at everything. And I want her to stay pure and innocent. And I want her to look at things the way I looked at them a long time ago. Because I see that wonderment in her eyes when she talks about her team. And I'm able to feel what I felt when I was a little kid. See, and he made sure he emphasized when I was a little kid. He emphasized that part. Because that's what he wants you to see her as. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Working with people with disabilities 
oh, what you call it? Special needs, working with special needs people, the longer you shelter them, the more they're not going to learn in the real world. Like she just sat up here and I told her, you can't be out there talking shit about people and expecting them not to say something back. Had she known that from start, she wouldn't have done it. Same thing with kids. You're not going to let an infant or a toddler walk around biting everybody. Sooner or later, you have to bite that fucking toddler back and say, see, that hurts. This is how it feels. It hurts. Like, and why people don't get that? One other thing. I believe even though that white boy, uh, 412, he and I have gone back and forth on your channel, and I damn sure know he's done it on JP's channel, but if I was to ask him if he knew about her disability, he probably would say no because he would not act that way toward her if he had known. I this, just... That's his name, Andrew Munez. Thank you. Ricks, I'm sorry. No, I just feel that uh, real shit wouldn't have attacked her on that level. But he didn't. He didn't attack her on a mental level. No, not he even a mental level. Her eyebrows. eyebrows. He talked what? about her hair. He talked about the way she looked. And all he never said, "Oh, she ugly." He never said that, mind you. All he would say is, "What you talking about, Willis?" That's cool. it. That's the catchphrase. Exactly. But again, even with that, I think that he, I still don't. I still think that he doesn't know about her disabilities or her exceptionality. So that's just my feelings on that part. Man, all I'm saying is, if these type of people needed to be protected that much, why are they alone with the internet, a computer, and everything else? Why are they able to go on social media like that? I, I just, I, I myself can't comprehend her not knowing what's really going on on JP's live when she's there every time he's live. This shit happens every time he's live. Well, every time I'm there, I know for sure they're going in on each other. You can go to JP of the New Orleans Saints live stream and go down his live streams. Every last one of them. They are on there talking shit, talking about each other. And I mean, from eight o'clock at night to damn near eight o'clock in the morning, they're talking shit about each other. That's why it's the less likes being in those channels because they stay up late at night. Right, and they're on there all night long. This is what happens over there. So for her to go in there knowing what happened, for her to throw shots at people, talking about people, knowing what happened, and for her to expect nothing to be thrown back at her, that's ludicrous to me. I, I, don't, I don't get it. But still, I give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she didn't understand. Maybe she didn't know when I do something to people, things could happen back to me. Let's go there. She didn't know that. She know it now. That's the way I look at it. She know it now. Because if you in here throwing shade and I throw it back, I don't owe you in a fucking, I don't owe you in an apology. Period. Not at all. Not at all. I'm not apologizing. You threw shade. You've been in here for fucking months. Throwing shade. And now when I say something back, you got a problem? Now you the victim? No. Same thing with Roberto. He have long arms. He's dancing all the time. Now, mind you, when I see him in there, Soon as I go in, it's like, Roberto, come on, dance. Go, Roberto, go. That's me. Where am I fucking over this person? Yeah, last night I said something. I said he Not like Stretch Armstrong. I said that last night, but that was in the midst of all of us joking. 
Oh, Danini, did he flash a hundred dollar bill earlier in that stream and you had to say you're not for sale? I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I that, was, that. that was right before that happened. So you flashing money at me like I'm Celeste or something. Like you can pay me for my motherfucking time. I don't. I'm not for sale. I'm not Celeste. Maybe you can dare to work with Celeste, but it don't work for me. I'm not a a night walker. Sorry. Her hours are very clear, because I was off that live stream. What by ten o'clock? If it was that late. So when your night walker come in between the hours of 2 to 7 a.m., that's who you flash that money to. Celeste, not me. But I'm going to let him talk some more so y'all can finish hearing this. Walking into Candlestick Park with my grandpa when I was a little kid. Yep. And awesomeness, just because she'll come in my stream or I'll see her in another stream, I get to relive that. And when, so every time he see her in a live stream, he gets to relive his childhood with his grandfather. Really? And y'all can see me in the chat right here. She's not a child. People are cruel to someone like awesomeness or true awesomeness. They are being cruel to little five-year-old me. Look at me again. Stop treating her like a child. Old LL was holding up his first star. And you know that that took some doing his mom was right a Raider fan. And he found Wonderman in his star. I don't know. Hey, Ready Red? His mom is an evil Raider fan. No, I understand. I was on the phone with this man. Me this again. Found out he roasting the now. My He's roasting the two. <laughs> and here's the thing: she was dropping bombs, dude. She was she was hitting me with haymakers, and I was throwing right back at her. But damn, she had she was doing this. Missed me, bitch. I mean, no. <laughs> so did he just call her a bitch? Miss me, bitch. And nobody else caught on to that, right? Right. Is that part? That part. Yes. He is on here. Just call the bitch. She go from being a child, you seeing her as your five-year-old self, to now she's a bitch. Why am I listening to this man say this shit and taking his word? Because that's what the government do to you. They lift you up, they pull you back down, and then they shit on you. Oh, uh, so yeah, I know what L.L. looked at that wonderment, man. He took some pain for that. Woo! He but this is what awesomeness does for us. This is what she does. I got, I got a, I got a young <laughs> named Tyler. And Tyler... Awesome as you'd like, Tyler. You and me have a lot in common. And I got a hold of Tyler when he was about eight. Mm. And I'm like, you want to go to a football game? And Tyler's rocking the red and gold now. And he's pure about it. Never seen Joe Montana play. Never saw Steve Young play. But he knows their stories. His crazy cousin Art informed him. He got a young cousin that he thinks should play with awesomeness. So I'm going to tell y'all what this, this part right here remind me of. Because he want a grown woman, awesomeness, to play with his young cousin. Y'all remember when Angel Munez, a grown-ass man, was going to Chuck E. Cheese to play with children. And what did we call him, y'all? What did we say about Angel in that? Angel, you're a grown-ass man. You cannot go to Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, Rallo, let me give you a wrench. We call those pedophiles. Child molesters. Exactly. You cannot, as a grown-ass man, go to Chuck E. Cheese and play with people's 
children. It doesn't matter where your mind is at. Your mind could be as a fucking three-year-old. You are a grown man. You cannot go to Chuck E. Cheese and play with children. Same thing with awesomeness. You are a grown woman. You have grown woman feelings. You have a grown woman body. Regardless of where your mind is, you cannot play with children. Period. But they're not telling her that. They setting her ass up. Like, bro, this, this shit is ridiculous to me. She's not a child. And his dad is a Dallas Cowboy fan. Mm. Revenge. You know? <laughs> but here's the thing, man. God puts people in places for a reason. And God creates all of us <laughs> right, the way we are for a reason. I'm fat for a reason. LL's hairy for a reason. And awesomeness is awesome for a reason. That's the way it is. And you mess up, you mess with Berto, you have a problem with me. And every other fucking red and gold loving minor fan on the planet. That's just the way it is. Only, only thing if I got with LL is he's a fucking cowboy. Nasty, he said, if you mess with awesomeness, if you mess with Roberto, if you mess with any other red and gold fan, you have a problem with him. What that sound like? If you mess with America, you got a problem with me. That's that was my mindset, yo. And I don't think and I was way uh, off with it. With red and gold, that don't even make sense. Awesomeness is a Washington. Yeah, but he awesomeness is a, a Redskins fan. Exactly. So what the it's fuck? Not Redskins anymore. No, this is not about sports, people. <laughs> it's not about sports. But he threw that out there. That's just like America go to all these countries and everywhere else, and they steal these people countries because they finesse them. That's what they do. They sit up here. They talk a good game. They want to put you on to their religion because that's how America stole most of these countries and made them convert to Christianity, made them believe in the Christian belief. Some made up shit because they made it sound good and true. And this is what happens, and this is a miracle. That's what awesome. they, they made you believe in folklore. Awesomeness reminds me of the Native Americans being mouthpiece on their land by European settlers right now. Because that you know, she's just that she was just that weak minded and she was corrupted by somebody who obviously, well, even though he does not spell or comprehend, still knows how to run his mouth and make shit sound good. Yeah. That's it. But I sent that man my eyebrow. Yeah, I was going to say that my brow should be a pretty good beef too. They would have made my mouth. No, 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 we face each other in the playoffs before then. Yeah, and then that's, that's just the rest of them talking some bullshit. So yeah, that's that's what they do, and that's what what he was saying put me in the mindset of he think he's the purest of the pure. We are just the little people, and that he can talk a good game, he can dress it up, he can put a bow on it, and he can sell that shit to us. But he does have a neck. How does Eric oh, Carpenter? I don't either. Oh, but no, that's Eric Carpenter from South Park. <laughs> the I'm living not there. No, but Celeste, 
Oh, that bitch gonna get dragged. She gotta get dragged by you. And I mean, I'm Carl Winslow, so it's okay. <laughs> it's quite all right. It's quite all right. Because she was calling Carl Winslow that part. She doesn't mention that part. Mm. She wanted your number. She might have liked Carl Winslow's voice. I'm not okay. sure. EDP, what racist slur, slur did I say? Respect my authority. <laughs> right, the way. Man. This man called Aries a ghetto monkey. Come on, man. <laughs> But then again, that that I probably know who that is, that EDP person who's always he's a pimp as boss. Nah, he not. Oh, that picture? No problem. So you're gonna have to find a new picture person. Man, and I got dinner to go cook, y'all. See, Celeste, I can plan my hair. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Huh? Here we go. I love it. I'm just saying because that's what I wanted to know. She wanted to talk about my looks and talk about my weight, but she's the person that wears fake hair, fake nails, put on makeup, and wear contacts. So you saw that fake ass head attack that she pulled off her head. Yes. On top of that fucking uh yeah, I got you. Okay, on sir isms. Yes, like Can how do you at wear, 5 a.m. in the morning? How do you wear a scarf on your head, but then have fake hair underneath it? A whole ponytail at that. You can't sleep in that shit, girl. But of course, you know, people like her can because they probably sleep on their hand or something. But I'm lost though. Didn't she last time you we went on this live? She stated that you know everything was okay and it was over. Mm -hmm. And you could try. I have a problem with you not trusting me. I remember she said that. Mm -hmm. Bye, Rick. Yeah. But the thing is, she had a problem with me not trusting her, and I told her. I'm not going to trust you yet. Like, you have to show me that I can trust you. And since that conversation, I haven't said anything about Celeste. I haven't done any videos about Celeste. None of that. And it's and, funny because you even warned her before she made her stupid ass comments today. You was mm -hmm. in the chat telling her, chill out. Exactly. It's eerily similar to how you reached out to her offline before uh-huh you gave her those warnings and mm -hmm. she doesn't comprehend maybe she thought that comprehend has an a in it i don't know <laughs> bro i don't know but it's like i try to be nice to that girl like i do i i try because i see her as a young person I mean, Joe she, Whitfield. Joe Whitfield. Um, she went in on a live by a guy named Raider Cousin, and Cousin is spelled C U Z I N. Let me see if I can bring it back up. Hold up, because I didn't see the the rest of it. Aries five hundred four. You are awesome, and sorry for what I did. That's awesomeness. Okay. Awesomeness, I appreciate your apology. Okay, I don't have any ill will or animosity to you. Okay, but just understand and take this as a lesson about you having to a be able to take it if you give it, and also don't ever allow anybody to manipulate you like that fat pig looking motherfucker. 
did today. A pastrami face, fat fuck. So you good, Oscar. Let's see. Fat bastard. Because <laughs> they rock it for the same team. Yeah. And Lori Reds was about. She's going to start Those talking. Those are your dudes. <laughs> Those are your oh. dudes. Oh. Station. And oh. But hold up, I need to go back some because I need y'all to see that I'm not in the chat and Celeste is talking shit in the chat. Hey, I was just smoking. I was only, I had only two viewers, three viewers, and then we're just chilling. Everybody wants to come kick it, and I'll talk this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She go right here. So what does this say? She's talking to Melissa. She says a bomb is going to burn me again because she, wait, what? When did I say a bomb was going to burn her? Did I say that? Let me go back to what I said. Listen to the white man again. Oh, okay. Listen to the white man again, Celeste, and watch you get burned again. So this is that, hey, Aries queen, this is that can't comprehend. Because I didn't say a bomb. I said white man, which means she have she was in a white manosphere, and she knows that. That's why I said that. But she's trying to make it seem like I'm talking about a bomb. It's going to burn me again because we got into a religion debate and we're still cool afterwards. I didn't know about that. The Nini and her friends have made videos about me. Videos with an S? Videos with an S. Okay. Videos with an S. Talking, talking down on my husband and kids. What videos? Have my friends and I made about Celeste talking down on her kids and her husband? I'll wait if anybody wants to tell me. No, let me push back on that because she might be thinking about the guys who have made videos. <laughs> But she put me, the Nini and her friends have made videos. What video, what even one video have I made talking down on her husband and kids? Was it the same video on which y'all made the piece? Did I talk oh. down on her husband and kids? Or did I talk oh. down on her? No, oh. I mean, shit, I was an asshole. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, girl, why are you telling these lies? So who's the real enemy? The Nini, a -bomb never made videos about me making rumors up about my family. I forgave you for burning me three times, three times, and now you're burning awesomeness, girl, bye. What? Where's the third time? She said I burned her the first time when I said what I said, but when all naturality, I reached out and tried to give her a warning. Second time, I didn't do anything to her. I told her, get her ass off an all-male panel that was talking about real male issues. That's not a burn. What was the third time? I'm trying to figure this out. What did I say to her? I, I oh, Dwayne, Dwayne, obvious. Um, you met Dream Johnson? Are these people in the white man and stuff? Because I don't mind asking any man what the situation is. If they know some more information, obviously, they might feel welcome to share. So let's see. And apparently by that time I'm gone. Because I'm not saying anything else. Um, well, I think I said something right there, though. Uh, let's go. Look at you admitting to shit. Look at you admitting Who? to shit. You. Who, me? Yeah, just not. Well, when you say you my pimp? No, when you just said, you know, oh, I, I did say something right there. You see, you were even, yeah, 
you're at least able to admit, okay, maybe I, you call this straight down the middle. You're not saying shit like, oh, I yeah, sent but this one. I haven't said mm. anything in a while, so I was busy. I haven't said it like even with the lies she was saying, I wasn't responding. What time of day was this? This was in the afternoon after lunch, right? Mm hmm. This and what do most people do after lunch? Where are they at? Oh, okay. No, I mean, they're if they're gainfully employed, okay. So, but Celeste, where were you at, baby? Where are the kids? So right here, B are they at school? Oh. All of them. Oh, I'm not even showing. I'm not even sharing my screen, y'all. So y'all can't see what I see. Hold up. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. So right here, Beast of the East is saying it's called jealousy, Celeste. And here she's telling him that's the same thing Aries told me, laugh out loud. But when he gets in front of the Nini, he sings a different tune. They're weirdos. So she's trying to say that Aries Wait, told what? that I was jealous of her. <laughs> Wait, what? Jealous oh. of what, Celeste? What? what do you have? Please tell me, what do you have that I would be jealous of? You jealous of that fake ponytail, baby? I just need to know. Thank you. The name of fake Wait, hold on. You jealous of the damn phone a ponytail? That's it. That fucking ponytail. And by the way, That's when it. I first met Celeste, Celeste was trying to get me to wear a fucking wig. Oh, I'll teach you how to put the wig on. No, ma'am. For what? When I got all this beautiful hair on my head, what made a wig fuck? Oh, we can do a girl's night and I teach you how to do makeup. For what? Girl, my skin is fucking beautiful. What do I need makeup on it for? Why would I want to cover up my beautiful skin to put what on it? Like, be for real. I don't need to cover myself up. So let me go. To even more. Now, mind you, this is my first time seeing this, y'all, because once again, I wasn't in the chat. Celeste, I have a business to run. So what do you have that I would possibly be jealous of? And if you are married and you're not working, girl, you can't do a goddamn thing without permission. If you need motherfucking milk in your house, you got to go ask your husband for a few dollars to go buy a fucking gallon of milk. What do yeah. I have to be jealous of? You mean Wait. her husband, A-bomb? Like, she can't do shit for herself. Mm. But I'm jealous. Why? I like being a fucking boss, girl. Try it. So still not in the chat, not in the chat, not in the chat, not in the chat, but here's the list. Aries, you keep up drama like a woman. That's why I felt comfortable giving you my number. <gasps> Hold up. I thought she didn't like miss. I thought she didn't like mm. drama. But mm. she said she gave you her number for drama. But my fun, the funny part is why the fuck? Could she read my comments? Because I couldn't see her comments at all. So this yeah, is my first time seeing this shit. Because she's a, she's a moderator, so she can see yours. Oh, got you. But I can't see hers. Right. I didn't this even think you were straight. I thought you were Danini's gay best friend. Okay. Wow. And here she go, Melissa M. Wait, this is this is what Melissa M says. Celeste, you do know that you can press charges for slander on those bitches, right? Mel this, uh, this <clears throat> Melissa M. They already have criminal records, so I don't think it would even make a difference. They didn't learn their lesson before. Now that doesn't make sense to me. 
Because the a criminal record and slander are two different things, right? Is it? Slander is when you state something or say something negative that's not true. But that's civil, right? I, yeah, but I also that's civil. That's number one. That's in civil court. And secondly, I do remember making the comment about her being the scammer. She didn't mention that because I need to ask her that question. I wondered if she was gonna bring up that scammer shit that she was into. Yeah, but this this once again, this is Celeste, and this this is what I said about Celeste. Even though she didn't say my name in this, she's already been saying my name enough, and everyone knows who she's talking about. And by her saying they, she's including Aries because she's only talking about the two of us. Right? So it's like, girl, what are you saying? What are you doing? But this is that throwing that stone. They already have criminal records. It's throwing that stone and hiding her hand because she's going to say, oh, I wasn't talking about you. Even though your whole dialogue in, in the chat is about me or Aries. Come on. I'm stupid. I'm slow, right? I comprehend very well, Celeste. So going down, going down. Melissa M. Girl, they do what they do to, to deter people from making friends and being social on here because they need company in their misery. Um, What misery? For one. So that's, and so that's going to make me expose her. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So as I move on, Okay, she's not saying anything else in the chat. But she not is building up her team. It's been times when older Hold up. Because see, I didn't get to hear this part. Being mm -hmm. is married. It's just, it, it can never be that serious. Bother, why bother making a big deal out of that? You know, so why, I want to hear what she said. I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Why you think. Everything used to be so cool and chill. The traditions I remember where everybody used to be cool and you know, Aries, me, everybody that was in there, and now it's just like kind of broken up. It's like a broken cookie when you rip it open. There's just pieces over there. That's how I feel sometimes, you know. Man, now you're just making me hungry. Awesome. You have to prove damage. Stuff like this, it kind of deters people from like wanting to make friends on YouTube and like, you know, getting cold people. But I mean, that doesn't deter me. I'm still going to be friendly. I'm still going to be social. I'm still going to talk to them. I'm still going to get y'all numbers. And like, that's not going to change mm. anything. Like, I just, you know, I just got burned. It is what it is. Multiple yeah, like, numbers. Right? I right. Well, this is my thing. Why does she need everybody's phone number? She's a married man. She's a married woman getting multiple numbers. It sounds like whole shit. Exactly. Fuck that. That's what I'm saying. Why would she need that like people? Her favorite team must be the Dolphins because she's a fucking flipper. <laughs> she's proving it right now. She's a like, Miami why? Girl. You're on social media. Why do you need everybody's phone numbers? Why would you have to talk to everybody privately? What's the point of that? Yeah, that, that's kind of why I haven't been around JPs in a while. Because I'm just like, and I think that was kind of her intention to try to run me off YouTube. Because I noticed that her and like some of the people, like some of the other women who were following her, they were like, well, if you don't want it, if you don't want to get docs and if you don't want these problems, you need to stay out of this space. 
I'm like, so wait, 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 wait. What people in my space told her if she don't want to get docs now, mind you, she's not saying the male said this. She said the females are saying this. If you don't want to get docs, stay out of those spaces. Docs by who? So you're trying to say that the females in the Viper Pit docs? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> uh, man, Joe, I know you hearing this. Like, this is the type of shit she says. Wow, okay. <laughs> and did she laugh? <laughs> It's crazy. And I'm like, why are we condoning this? And girl, and then she had people looking up like just old stuff about me. I'm like, it's it's just it, it can never be that serious to me. So I had people looking up old stuff about her. Who? You talking about the crystal and kerosene thing? Because last I checked, I was doing a live stream about you, and that information just came into the chat. It was offered to me. I didn't have to tell anybody to go look up anything. She might have so, been talking about the scammer shit. Okay, the scammer shit. Once again, that's not my friends. That person is not in a viper pit. And all I asked for, the same video that they were talking about in the chat, where this video at? That was it. So, mm. once again... You act like I'm just going around telling people, hey, I need this person information so I can dox her. No, ma'am. Because if I wanted to dox you, boo, I could. And if I didn't dox fucking Angela, fucking Pinocchio, bitch, who the fuck are you for me to dox? Mm, but this information, I wonder if she's going to clarify what information actually came out about her. Let's see. She's <laughs> not. I thought we already read something. I'm like, I haven't seen her for a while. I'm like, where's she at? And me and pretty, pretty ass Steven looking for you because we've been trying to do streams together. And I'm like, I think there are messages, girlfriend, missing in action. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it did kind of deter me. It did kind of deter me in a way because, you know, I'm like, if we're gonna if we gonna roast each other, let's roast each other, you know. But mm -hmm. don't don't like you know try to throw rocks and then hide your hands when i roast you yeah. back it's like you know when i roast back it's like oh look see she's a bully see she's not feminine you know it's like they want to do that and it's like this is a roasting this is a roasting community <laughs> like okay so once again what is she talking about when did i ever throw a stone and hide my hand because i know me and if I throw stones and it hit your ass, I'm going to stand there with my hands up like this. See the dirt right here. I threw it. It was me. So what you going to give me back? I never throw stones and hide my hand. But whatever I say once, I can definitely say it again. And if you're not there when I say it on a public platform so that's not behind your back, I can definitely repeat it and say it in your face. Definitely. And when I do repeat it and say it in your face, it may come out a little bit harsher than what I said when you wasn't there. Because now I know you're listening. So now I want it to fucking stain. Okay, so stop playing with me. You, you what, can't what, this what, do, what do femininity got to do with speaking up for your Exactly. Family? I never got that. No, the reason why I'm asking because when you go to certain sectors, they act like if you speak up about something, then you being aggressive and angry, and I'm like, no, I'm being. Now, isn't that the other way around? That isn't that what she tell me? Look at her, look at her, look how she's yelling. Didn't she say that about me? So who said anything about her being feminine, not being? Who said that? Being insulted, and so I'm speaking up. <laughs> Typical who? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and then it's like. You know, then they'll bring up how I roast guys in the manosphere, and I'm like, they roast me, and I don't, I don't get upset at them roasting me because I know it's all them? funny games with them, mm -hmm. and it's like, uh, I'm like, how you gonna get mad at me roasting guys? Okay, who brought up 
for her roasting guys in the manosphere. Because I know I didn't. I brought up how she would turn her camera on in the middle of the night with these guys, but I didn't say shit about roasting. Now, I said you were selling your fucking body. That you're trying to get fucking attention. I forgive you awesomeness. <laughs> like that's that's why I'm like, I don't get it. But like I knew it was I knew it was something more than what she made it seem to be when she got Jessica X on her panel to talk about me. I'm like, you know you don't like this girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I went and got Jessica X to come on my panel. I did. When did I do that? Jessica X was listening to the live stream and said something in the chat and she asked me for the link, honey. People lie. I swear. I hate fucking liars. <laughs> and this is why I don't trust her. <laughs> and if you listen to her laugh while while I'm at this, if you listen to her laugh, do my laugh sound really y'all? Cause it don't to me at all. Raiders could have always had the most banging ass panel. <laughs> and I'd be messing it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, be glad you you missed it because it was just a hot mess. Like, I mean, it, it was just not. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they, I guess people are like they have a conceited effort to try to run me off YouTube. You know, saying I shouldn't be getting on camera, I shouldn't be getting on panels and stuff like that because then I'm opening myself up to get docs. And I'm like, well, pretty much putting my face on camera is doxing myself, so. Wait a minute, did I tell her that just getting on panels was opening up for, no ma'am, that's not what I said. I said, you giving your phone number out, you giving your email address out is opening yourself up for that. Seriously? Is it that she just stupid and can't comprehend or she's saying these this Stupid shit on purpose. It's one of the two. I mean, and if, I feel like if you go any further than that, you you just have a serious problem with me and address me on that. You know, like just just address me on that. Just say you don't like me. Just say you don't like my voice. You know, just say you don't like seeing me on camera. You don't like seeing me joke around with people late at night. Just say that. Like, don't make it to be something more than it's not. Wait, don't make it. Wait, what? I'd have been over in other people's section and I have got in two with people. You know, I don't talk about nobody be minding my business. So I'm like, I don't know what this is. It's like a, I'm not speaking on Danini. I'm just saying that it, it's been times when older, I felt like older women have jumped on me. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, what I do type thing. And they come at you with an attitude. Like you done something wrong just because you kind of young or something, or like you made a mistake or something. It's like even if you did make a mistake or they didn't agree with something that you said, you don't have to like just jump all over a person and bring them down. And it's what point do you reach out and kind of teach a younger person something? Because nobody just come in this world knowing everything. <laughs> I'm just saying, nobody born knowing everything. If you see somebody messing up, pull them to the side, kind of talk to them. Like I said, I'm not speaking on you and Danini thing because I'm not getting in the middle of that. See? And you mean like this, an email, right? Right. So this is the thing. See, what Beautiful Soul don't know is that I did reach out to Celeste before it even came to YouTube. But see, she's not going to say that. I did reach out to her. And it's been told to her by her aunt Uppity. What was that? Three times? Three separate times? Three separate times through Uppity, I've reached out to Celeste. And Uppity came to the panel and said she told her about it. So she can't say I didn't try. But she want to spin this narrative like I'm fucking with her. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to I'm just saying there's other places that I've gone and had that like 
you just come in, you say something. If you say something they don't agree with, everybody jump on you like, whoa, I just asked him a question or I was just talking. And it's like a instant trying to like cut you down and you young and you stupid and you this now I'm like damn I'm like okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, I mean, like <laughs> I didn't know you was born knowing everything but okay <laughs> yeah and now like I don't know if I'm getting treated like that because I'm new to this space but it's like I, I know Goodwill, like, I don't be flirting with people online. Like, if that's the case, they can say I be flirting with you in pretty eyes. Like, because I, 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 I... Um, wait, according what? to that fucking message Penny wrote, you might be flirting with them, bitch. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> she came from the white manosphere. She came from the divested community. It sounds like she came from Crystal and Karazin, too, the swirlers, because she's been over there messaging talking about she's been divested since high school she came from everywhere and then that's another thing if divestment is just not about divesting from black men she's divesting from the black community why is she working so hard to be accepted in the black community because she's always over there about rock about red all the that's time if you divested from the black community why are you working so hard to be in it what's your purpose well, maybe she's just fucking fraudulent she's not she's counterfeit as in she don't know what she believes are she's an agent exactly and i would say she's an agent because that's what she act like and that's how she moves mm. just my opinion i'll compliments every time i see her <laughs> I'll always talk about oh, you know we're gonna be lesbian in a minute, so <laughs> <laughs> they must be doing threesomes because they always talk to each other. <laughs> I she always saying she's pretty. pretty. I'm like, girl, you already know. <laughs> Y'all wow, man. You're funny. You're funny. What time is it? Six o'clock? 6 15 yeah i gotta cook dinner so i'm not why you wait 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 why you keep on bringing that up that you gotta cook dinner is it because somebody else don't oh <laughs> that's so part of it and the fact that you know i'm a fat girl because she was like I, I what i'm gonna do when all the restaurants close and all this other girl let me tell you something okay I didn't gain this weight from the restaurants. I didn't gain this weight from no McDonald's, no Wendy's, no Burger King, no Popeyes, no churches, no canes. I say Taco Bell, no Taco Bell. That, that's not what got this weight on me, okay? I'm going to tell you a little secret. Red beans and rice, okay, got this on me. My own ribs got this on me. My macaroni and cheese got this weight on me. My mashed potatoes and gravy got this on me. My smothered chicken got this weight on me. My lasagna got this on me. Wait, was it also those three real children? Oh, yeah. Three real children that I have mm. got this on me. My homemade, from scratch, my recipe cakes got this on me. My peach cobbler, homemade peach cobbler, got Stop, this. I'm hungry, chill out, chill out, hungry right now. Shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, since so. you really want to know, my gumbo got this weight on me, honey. So if you really want to know why I'm fat and why I'm a fat girl, bitches, because I know how to cook and I eat. But it. listen, hold on. Before I let you go, Celeste did say something on uh, Grandmaster Troll's stream. She knows how to cook. She knows how to cook a salad because the general was asking the same question to her. And she said, I know how to cook a salad. And the general was like, you don't fit. It's a salad. What? You yeah. mean the same, the same salad where it's lettuce and tomato and. Yeah, cheese. I would for, listen, me and, the, me and the general butt heads all the time. But I wish the general was, was here to speak on that shit. Because that was another panel that was on at the wee hours of the fucking night, two or three o'clock, and the general was going 
in. I mean, look, Joe, I don't know if she's from Houston. She says she's from Houston. To be honest, I don't know where the hell she's from. Yeah, she's from Houston. She went to school with Meg Thee Stallion with four kids. Yeah, she did say that. And the hell, you got a phone number. Yeah. <laughs> What's that area code? <laughs> Is it eight three two? Let me find this whole thing. It was a mess. Ah, it's not eight three two. Damn, it's seven one three. Oh, the other area code from Houston. Fuck out of here. So, yeah. Yeah, seven one three. Is Houston seven one three? Yep, sure is. Oh, okay, well. It sure is. Don, it's easy. Just Let stand up to pee. <laughs> Don, only thing you got to do is stand up to pee, right? I mean, she gave it the gay dudes, apparently, straight dudes. She's a collector of numbers. Okay? I Her whole facts is significant. Day. She what? just said on that panel that she, she's on there to give her number out. So shit, Don, at the end of the day, all you gotta do is just ask. What's your number, Celeste? About to say, run through. <laughs> I thought she was married. She said she was married. Yeah, she married. Huh? She said she was married with four kids, Bomb, but yet. She's giving she out numbers. Kids was email Aries a couple of times and then she was ready to give him that number and she gave it to him. Text him. I guess she wanted to hear my voice, but nevertheless, she's not collecting other numbers. She's moving on. Don, make that happen. <laughs> yes, red beans and rice would do it to you, Joe. I'm telling you. <laughs> Shit, I can't wait till Monday. I need some red beans. Man, you get red beans before Monday. The hell? I mean, I'm going to call Celeste and ask if I can get some red beans. From her. <laughs> the bitch probably going to tell me, oh, that's vegetarian. I have vegetarian red beans. Wait, what? <laughs> that girl ain't no damn vegetarian because she's not that fucking skinny. I'm just gonna be I honest. forgot that part. She did mention about how she need to lose weight. And I was like, wait, what? She's like, yeah, I need to lose weight. I was eating too much cookie and cream. I was like, wait, what? So she knows that she's not that slim. Mm hmm She's aware of it. It's just the fact that that's the only thing that she could try to troll you about because she knows everything else about you is all I mean, you you beating her. And it's this just is what it is. Rice and cabbage. Oh Lord, Dwayne, where you from? <laughs> But let me tell you something, Celeste, because you got to realize you're not that small. You're in your 20s. You're four kids down and you stand up all night and you're eating cookies and cream ice cream. Let me tell you something, honey. You won't be your size for long. Just to <laughs> let you know. For one, your body needs to rest. And right now you're not. Because you're online all fucking night. Online all, on a corner, same difference. Whatever. So just to let you know, the way you treat your body, you're going to surpass me. Just saying. All yes, you look, you look young now, but if you keep Stand awake the way you are and not getting your beauty sleep is called that for a reason. You're going to look older than me in the next couple of years. And bitch, you're in your 20s and I'm pushing 40. Allegedly. Oh, she's Let in her 20s. That sink in. Let that sink in. I am pushing 40, but I will be 39 this year. 39? 39. Shit. Okay, keep going. Yes. So we're going to let that sink in. Okay. Just for Celeste. 
she gonna look like she damn 50 in about two years if she keeps staying up all night stressing because I think that's what it is. She's stressing. She can't sleep. I can I think it's a I think it's a jealousy issue because um towards you because you can put your husband on the screen. You can put your children on the screen. You've done it before. Plenty of times. It mirrors the actions of somebody else, another black woman who is jealous of you. I'm seeing You're some similarities. Yeah, you talking about Pinocchio? Two can Sam? Yes. Mm-hmm. What you call her? You don't call her two can Sam. What you call her? I call her two can Sam Jilla. <laughs> yeah, that one. Two can Sangela. That's Black baby mama skill. Two marriages and almost 30, 30. I have never seen a woman sit on social media all night with men, but she is married with four children. Same thing I said, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Same thing I said. Because I kid you not. When my kids were young, you didn't see me on Facebook, on YouTube, on none of that shit. None of it. And I have three children. See, my kids, I have two adults right about now. Two adults, one teenager in high school. So I can play online, but at the end of the day, I still don't be up all fucking night. To in the morning, knowing I have four young children in my house. And to be honest with y'all, even when y'all see Bomb online, her grandson isn't there. That's not even Bomb's son. That's her grandson. And it's only one. And she's not online as much as fucking Celeste with four of her own children. Bitch, for real? Four children and you're allowed. Girl, I will be tired as hell with four Joe, children in my house. Joe, I've been called that one. Like, do you not understand what it's like to be a mother? And see, that's the problem. She don't know what it is to be a mother. That's why she can say, oh, I have four kids. That's because you don't have any. Any parent with young children would know. I'm not staying up all motherfucking night. You never know what's going to happen day to day with kids. Like this one walking in the door. What, girl? Right, never know. Happen. You never know. It's fair, even with a fucking 14 year old. You never know. Ever, mm. ever. Ever, ever. What girl? Oh, that's a child. What girl? To to that's a that's a child. Right. You want to talk to me. Uh, about what? About my future. About your future. Let me let, let me see the other side of your face. I was saying I was laying on carpet. Oh, okay. Cause I that man look. You know somebody smacked me. Hell yeah! I seen a spot on the side of her face, and and she was way across the room, y'all. And I seen the color look different on her face, and I'm like, what the hell? The other side, this side, this side, right here. You see it's red right there, and you know, like, hold up. What the hell? What's what's on your face? I was playing. Oh, okay. So what you want to talk to me about? My future. What about your future? What I'm gonna do? What you want to do? Professional dancer and a chiropractor. You told me that already. I know, but I'm behind. Though. Behind on what? On classes. What classes? Uh, ballet classes. Ballet. Yeah, what do you think a professional dancer is? Professional. Hold up, y'all. Let me tell you about this girl's schedule, okay? Not only is she on the school dance team, but she had practice Monday through Thursday. 
she decided to get on the all-star dance team with the entire city that has practice on Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. What? So how you going to add ballet into that? See, that's not – um. This is the all-star thing is only temporary. We only have like five, six practices left until we do the video. And then that's going to be done. And my sketch is going to go back from Monday to Thursday regular dancing practice. When are you going to do ballet and where? I don't know. That's why I have to speak with you. That's <laughs> But I need I need to to get on it right now because I'm behind. That's amazing. Mind y'all that this same freshman in high school is taking all 10th grade classes. She makes straight A's. She has AP and honors classes, straight A's, nothing less than an A. Okay. On your report card? Where? Uh, speech. Let me see. Because you know we ain't got no teacher. Y'all do have a teacher. Now. Right now. You know. I just came, looked at I looked at your grades and it had an A on it. She came just yesterday. No, two days ago. I'm about to look. I have a seat. Mm -hmm, I'm about to look. I'm trying to tell you. That's on your report card? I mean, report card's going to come out till today. Report card's come out today. So, yes. I ain't getting no report card. Girl, you ain't got no C. Yes, I do. Let me see. I'm trying to tell you, yes, I do. I see, Celeste, so this right here. See how I just said she has straight A's. And being my child, she know not to lie to me. And she came out with the truth. I know you was being petty. Go ahead. I told you. What? Who was being petty? I knew you were setting it up. Go ahead. Because <laughs> I was like, she about to come up with talk about I'm parenting. Cause Celeste can't. What is all this? I was that's the this this that and nothing. Oh, that's the days you was Ooh. out for COVID. Yeah, and he and he had marked me that I wasn't doing work. Oh well, that's simple. That's simple. I told him that I want to talk about it, but all these other ones. It's all A's. Uh, that one, no. That one, that one, and that one. I also was not here. Mm -hmm. And he didn't put up a near pop there. That's what I'm saying. All these are COVID because I was out those same the same days. That's all COVID days. Also, I know I missed that, but I did it. So you need to change that. And I missed that. All that got it. You got to be able to make all that up. That's COVID days. And then that's another one. Those are COVID days. I ain't worried about that. Wait. So yeah, y'all, she do have a C. Yeah. She so, have a C, but it's two wait, weeks old. Either she has to have it, have she has to have an opportunity to make it up, or they cannot count that those missing signs against her. What well, it did. Yeah, they did. So they did. either are. They can't no, it's not possible. Like well, it is they did. Go I'm talk to them. And they and they can't say that. Well, I didn't know she was out. They called you. They called me about the COVID and said she couldn't come back to school. As long as I was out for COVID, they couldn't go back. So, so okay, y'all. She do have a C, but I see it's not her fault. It's it's for COVID days. I did look, but this still is a child that I don't have to tell her do her homework. We don't be getting homework. I don't have to tell her to study for a test or none of that. This is a responsible 14-year-old. Okay. See, that's your problem. This is your problem, though. This, uh, this is your fault because your 18 year because your 18-year-old had to come out and call. <laughs> so that's what she is. Passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. That's your fault. <laughs> Who, me? No, Jamal. Jamal. Just heard her talking online for a few minutes with me. And he was able to stand there and say, yeah, she's passive aggressive. He was able to pick up on it. Jamal. There was a girl. No, the girl that was online talking. He was able to pick up on it that quick. Jamal being a meme. 
That's not being mean. No, he's being a mean. Why? Because he's uh, upset? Every time, every time I try to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he come out the room. What, boy? Man, what? He's talking about me for Because I can. He be like, why? Because I want to. Cause I want to. Cause I want to. Ain't no mama mamoose. I need everybody to notice that you can hear the children in the background. Yeah, and we're having a conversation. It's a back and forth. I even have one right here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, listen, I, yeah, the pettiness is, yeah, just, man. I'm dancing. Doobie, doobie. Girl, get out. <laughs> you like Scooby Doo. And see, this is called a sibling robbery. You hear it, Celeste? Like, uh, you can actually. <laughs> you can you're snacks. you're shaggy, and you don't know who like to eat dog treats. You unplug my computer. Damn, I wish I, I wish I I wish Bon was here so I can ask about the twin spans. So how you go from how you go across the river on the twin span. I need to ask Bon about that. That's why he thinks right. I think you broke it. Let me see it. Everybody in the social media could uh hear Scooby, so are they all doing it? Celeste, do you hear my children? No, it's not. No, mm, because it's on right This is getting power. You can't unplug that. Can you do I'm putting it up. Hear what? No. Yeah. I can barely hear it. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm about eating? to go. I'm about to cook. What are you cooking? Pork chops. Pork chops and what? I don't know what you want. You want gravy and rice? You want smoked pork chop? Yeah. Oh, okay. so this is what you're going to do? You're going to provide the whole menu? Yes, smothered pork chops. I might have some corn in there. They're going to get some corn. Yes, mm -hmm. the whole menu. Because you know, Celeste, um, I cook for my family. We don't eat noodles and ketchup. Noodles <laughs> and ketchup? You like that some fun. Do you also eat bread and ice? <laughs> wow, you man, that girl out. Oh my shit. god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You know what? You know what I used to do? I used to when I was at Popeyes. I used to the Nini uh, two point oh. I would eat the the bread crust, the cre bread crust, and I would ball up like four pieces of bread together, <laughs> and I eat it. Eat a ball of bread. Bro. <laughs> See, Celeste, this is what real children do. <laughs> and it, it actually tastes more delicious than just having regular flat flat bread. If you ball it up and eat it, it really tastes it tastes better. Yeah. <laughs> she's Celeste. she's she's pettier than you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. How? So Celeste, see when you have children in a house. And you're online, whether it's at night, during the day, when you have children in the house, look, they're going to come around you. They're going to say, Unless they don't like you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I told you that girl is good. She's sharp. <laughs> because if you're a young baby, you're going to be around your mama, right? <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, because you said my lady. <laughs> That's how he talking to me, y'all. With his hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> but like this. <laughs> <laughs> but for one, I'm gonna do it with one hand. No, you did it with twice. But you did this. But you no. But you doing this? <laughs> y'all, I would so turn around so y'all can see him. But uh, yeah, he ain't got no shirt on. He trying oh. to show his little. Hey. I thought if I want to show somebody something, I would be. In what, is, what is this? <laughs> Girl! I, like, I, I like I don't like sweatshirts. 
Maddie, boo, uh, or pop, whichever one. Danini, it is. <laughs> uh, that, that does bring up a good point. Um, when your kids were children, were I mean, I heard that kids are usually inseparable from. It's hard for them to be pulled away from their mother. Oh my God! So there's a reason why this one acts exactly like me. I could not move. Okay. Everywhere I went, she was there. Everywhere. This one, the middle one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Believe it or not, when he was a baby, he was a crybaby. Why must you tell these lies? Because no one, <laughs> could, <laughs> no one could watch now. him except for Stop me, his way. dad, and my dad. On mm. anybody else touch him, Why kick him up, he lies. would fall out. He couldn't stand anybody else touching him. Listen, Stop spreading listen. those rumors around. And see, my oldest, Stop my first one, he was the same way. Everything is mama, 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 mama. Bruh. My first words were good morning, mama. So, and that's something that's usually, that's, that's, that's something that's common among mothers, right? Especially with Mother, their kids, right? Mother who love their children, their children love them. Okay. <laughs> Kind of. mm. So I'm asking that because it's gonna be hard for somebody to be online. I feel like you're trying to take shots at somebody. If you shouldn't, yeah. fucking, yeah. if you shouldn't have young. Yeah. That girl, the love. same girl who you said is passive aggressive. She has four children and she's in her twenties. Oh wow, Dre. Okay, <laughs> she got four, she got four <laughs> children and she's how on. Old are they? Don't know, but she's in her twenties. So how old could they be? Exactly. They got to be young. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They got to be young. She could have been 14 and pregnant. <laughs> that girl there. Oh, my God. Still, how oh old God. is she? Under 30. They still young. They're not teenagers. So, this is my thing. Well, they could be a teenager if she had them at 14. That's crazy. But, this girl be online. In the middle of the night, all night long. I guess she'll go to sleep for a few hours, and she was online today, like at they one. Teenager, even if she was fourteen and had a child, they couldn't be a teenager. At at they one. Well, if she's twenty nine, they could be, but oh, we don't 29. know. Oh, we don't know. That. She's in her twenties. She's under thirty. Oh, we don't okay. know what. Probably twenty seven, something like that. I thought you said she was. Jamal, I was, I was playing, I was playing just dance. No, she's dance. in her twenty. I was playing. I was playing just dance last night, and my mom so, was so <laughs> it's it like, like, where are her children when she's online all this time? <laughs> she was standing in the bed doing it. Why are you? Why are you because that's where my TV is, and, it, and it, it's this how it goes. So this is the first one. She forgot. Wait, no, it was boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then the other one, and then the other one goes, you gotta like block their foot, so it goes. Mm, you block mm, foot. Mm, then you gotta grab it, and then and then and then um and then 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 and and you gotta go, and you gotta like this, and this stuff, and, and yeah, and, no, <laughs> and then stuff is in between and everything, and then you gotta combine it all together, so then it goes. <laughs> <laughs> happens when you have and children then, and you're online yeah. for a long period of time they find wherever you are in the house i was in my room exactly you was in your ah. room and you wasting water i'm about to leave water my <laughs> that's this sweet that your children want your attention huh? exactly you see this one talking about some doo, doo, doo. that's that's what happens <laughs> That's cold for you to get off this damn um, uh, YouTube and do what you got to do because you're a mom. 
at mm. least have your kids wanting to be around you. <laughs> You the type of mom that just sit online all day. As soon as they open you the door, you like get, sound? get, get, go. Oh, you remember her now? Do you, do you, do you hear how she sounds? How she sound? Why would I be around her? How she sound? I, I can't really do it. You can I do it. it. Yeah, you do it. You do it. You do it. She don't know. Wait, what you want me to say? Oh, like, like, what's I the forgot, scenario? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Listen, there she go. Yourself, like without people having an issue with it. Yeah, oh, I would not be around that. <laughs> She's passive aggressive. Don't that mean like, like you being aggressive, but you like kindly being aggressive? Kindly like, being like, aggressive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of like, like saying like, could you not? No. Like, like, how, how no, you? she's being nice about it. Oh my. Like, Basically, being like a manipulator. Yes, she's very good at it. Um, mm. I know how manipulators go. Me more than it hurts you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Take it on my nerves, bro. That's what her ex boyfriend said when she walked in and saw her. No, <laughs> it hurts me, so that's more than it hurts you. <laughs> that I have this woman in my bed, mm. our bed. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it, 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 this actually works. When you do this, it actually works. I'm convinced it actually works. Because look, you're right there. And then, boom, they just seem like it's so much closer. Yo, this, this girl, you know what? I'm about to get off for real. Why? Yeah, why? Because we can she she go talk cook. to a YouTube friend. We can go cook. We can, we can, we can have a good time. So y'all want noodles and ketchup then? No. I said, you can go cook. <laughs> Man, listen, feed them on a Celeste meal for about a week. <laughs> Red as stars. Then they'll never come in here. They'll probably run away from home. Who? If I feed you with Celeste, so called feed her kids. She feed them noodles and ketchup. You'd be better off just buying them fast food. <laughs> just do that. She ain't got no money. That's why she, <laughs> she got to stay online all night. Hey, she better buy Happy Meals. She should have four, have four kids. That was dumb. She better get one Happy Meal. Hey, Mr. Research. Four, four chicken, the four, the four chicken stuff, nuggets. I'm gonna call for 99 cents and each child get one nugget? Yep. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yep. That's what you're going to do your kids? Yep. For real? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm going to have money. You are? Yep. You're going to take care of your mama? If you can't take care of yourself. I can't. Yes, you can. You're oh. doing it right now. Oh. <laughs> no, they're taking care of it. Yeah, you two taking care of me. So you, you got me? Yeah. Who put who put your clothes on today? Morgan. Me too. I know. Who, who put your clothes on today? Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. Who put your clothes you on gonna, You going to take, you gonna take, take over? Her no. I'm yeah. going to direct y'all in the right path to do it on your own. <laughs> I'm going to direct you in the right path to, to, to be independent. For me to be independent? Yeah. I can't. Well, you're going to have to learn. Me neither. They ever say you can't, you can't, you just don't want to. I ain't never independent. You always, always got somebody know. with me. Who? Huh? Myself. And that's somebody else. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? You mean the people in it, your it head? It's him and all the, the people, people in my head. Brain. I only got one person in my head. It's him I and know. all the people I in have, brain. You know, I was talking to myself you know one crazy? time. I talk to myself all the time. I was I talking to myself one time. Like, I was just in my room and I was bored. And I just started talking to myself. Like I was having a conversation with somebody else, but it was with me. That's all the time. The noodles and that's all the time. Kentucky, what? Kentucky, I don't believe that. Noodles in Kentucky. What are you talking about, right? All right, for real, for real. I'm about to go uh, make the pork chop. No. Bye. Bye. Huh? Oh, y'all wanna do? Oh. Do y'all wanna uh, watch her cook? So, so she can learn, you know. They watched me cook for Thanksgiving when I was up all night. Well, y'all went well, to sleep. Well, she still don't know. So you need to show it again. You need to show, show, show a different wheel. I mean, different meals. Show wait, 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 wait. Huh? She want me to she show did. different meals. Oh, no. No. Well, yeah. Do that. Do that. Try to help her out. I mean, the young lady out. Children. That's aggressive young lady. It's out. for the children. It's for the children. And she better not try and make... Oh, wow, for the kids? For the kids? That's dirty. 
Lord, let me go, y'all. Okay. Yeah, so you got to go. Look, you got to go make that video for Celeste for the kids that don't even exist, all right? She probably, she probably no spent all, all her money going out to eat and leave kids all right. hungry and starving. No problem. What if they look good? Good night, y'all. What, what's the about to go and cook the dinner. I'm going to try for them children. They gonna, they gonna be talking just like her. What's, what's the oh, disorder that, that them people don't want to eat? And they, and they still talking, but I'm about to go. And they just <laughs> Now it's time to say goodbye to all my YouTube friends. Hell a pit!